Hey everyone, this week on KBNP, we spent a couple of days at Hannah Park for a shakedown of the RV we bought recently. And while we're there, Pepper tries his paws at off-leash mountain biking, and Scott Trent and I hang a baby. All right, guys, today's the day. We're about to get on the road. We're uh, kind of packing up the RV right now and uh, for our little shakedown camp out at uh, Hannah Park. Um, pretty decent sleeping arrangement back here. A couple of twins, and then also this uh, converts into a into a king just by pulling this out. Um, of course, Pepper is ready to go, aren't you, Pepper? Good boy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. He's a good boy. All right. So anyway, that's Pepper, and uh, he's psyched to go on this trip for sure. Isn't that right? Yes. Oh my goodness, what's going on in here? Just packing for our first official taking out the RV. It's not technically camping, is it? Uh, yeah, we're not, you know, so we used to tent camp, and right. this is going to be completely different. This is, we got so much room, it's ridiculous right now. I'm sure we'll... I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be a good time. So, anyway, we don't really know what we're doing, so uh, let's just try to do it faster. So, all right, we're hitting the road, finally. Uh, Brenda's uh, following behind in the Honda Fit with uh, Pepper uh, for this trip. Um, I think our next trips will probably go without uh, without the Fit and just be self-contained to this unit. But uh, uh, for the first time out, we want an emergency vehicle just in case. And then once we get comfortable with everything, we'll start flat pulling the, uh, the Honda Fit. That's the plan at this point. So anyway, we don't know what we're doing, so wish us luck. All right, well, welcome. We are uh, in our campsite here at Anna Park. He's gonna sleep with you in bed tonight. <laughs> all right, Pepper's all tuckled in and ready for a night of sleep. Here we are, uh, first night out uh, camping at Hannah Park and uh, kind of getting set for uh, a little housekeeping, uh, get everything cleaned up. As you can see, the bathroom, it's pretty tight in here, um, but I was able to take a shower, nice hot water, good water pressure, um, so uh, this seems to be working out okay for us. I think it'll be, I think it's going to be a good size for us traveling around the country. Okay, we just woke up, we're about to start our day. You can see Pepper back there is, uh, he's hanging out, but he's really ready to go. He's, uh, he's had enough of being inside. Brenda's enjoying her, her coffee, watching the TV. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, so yeah, look at this awesome banana bread she made. About to start on some of that. So we're gonna do a little bit of frisbee uh, to get Pepper prepped up before we mountain bike. Wait, come by. All right. All right, let's go get on the bike. I'm looking forward to being able to do this without him being on the leash. Just make sure you got your GPS on, and you do. And let me make sure that I can see you on the app. We're using the uh, Finster app. Yep, got you on here. Wait, ready? Good boy. Doing really well. Good boy. So far, so good. Yes. He's a good boy. Yes. Point the camera. Can you see him? You doing good? Yeah. That's good boy. Not sure he doesn't know that. The leash isn't on at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, good boy. Uh-huh. Yes, good boy. Reach down, give him a pet. Love it, love it. That's it. It's good boy, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, he's testing out a little bit of speed there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good boy. Two years leading up to this point right here. So excited. He's off leash. Yep, good boy. Good boy. Keep going, Pepper. Come on, Pepper. That's good boy. Yeah! <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Here we go. Here we go. Good boy. You want to take a break? This is the environment that we wanted him in. It's a bit warm today, and probably not the best day for this. It'd be better on a cooler day. But it's, I think it's gonna be up near, close to 80. Um, and I don't think I'd even take him out on the trails if it was over 80. Not for very far, not for very fast. Good job, Pepper. Pepper did an awesome job. How you doing? Hi, how you, I'm doing good. good. How about right. you? I'm, I'm sorry. Doing, what? I'm what doing are wood collecting? So, what are these uh, strange people doing in our campsite, Brenda? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> they're strange, or strange. Yeah, they're very strange. strange. Yeah. Very strange. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Just meandered in. We've been kind of hitchhiking our way down from, yeah. uh, up north. Well, if y'all need a place to sleep, we've uh, we'll have a fire here. Fine. You can just right get your sleeping bags. <laughs> you can just roll them out right here yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like it's going to last very long, though, Carl. It's going to be, this, we got enough wood here for a solid five minute burn, I think. <laughs> Having a very complicated discussion here oh, about firewoods. <laughs> and uh, so this is uh, Brenda's uh, uncle and aunt, uh, uh, Uncle Charlie and Aunt Judy. <laughs> uh, pretty warm for February, so I'm going to take Pepper down for uh, a little cool off in the ocean. Anyway, he's, uh, he's raring to go. <laughs> yeah, nice and cold, huh? Yeah, very good. That's a good boy, yes. Hey Brenda. Hi Carl. <laughs> we are going to have a fire. I refuse to buy firewood. How do you feel about buying firewood? Going through the woods and getting your own firewood. Am I right? I mean, look at all this firewood. I mean, people are like buying firewood. Why would you do that when you can come back here 
get torn up by mosquitoes, potentially bitten by a rattlesnake or water moccasin. Plus, all the pieces of wood are really too big to carry back to the fire. So that's half the fun. If only I had brought a chainsaw with me, then this would have been short work. All right, here we go. Uh, Oh, let's see, here you go. Instant, instant reward. I got it. Oh, oh, plenty of firewood. I'm in, oh, oh my goodness, what is this? I can't believe what I've found. It's a soccer ball. Yes. I really wanted a soccer ball. This haunted doll that we found will go just right in the right spot on a trail hanging from a string right about mountain bike head level don't you think oh yeah it's on so yeah I'm super happy today with uh, pepper on the trail um, he passed his first test on uh, mountain biking off leash super excited about that and uh, starting to uh, settle into the RV life I think um, we're learning a lot as we go um, just waiting for my first official dinner to finish cooking in the small but efficient little kitchen and we'll see how it turns out. She's cooking up a pot roast for us and her uncle and her aunt today. Oh look there's a palliated woodpecker up there. So we're... We... Yep, that's basically the uh, palliated call that Brenda just did. She's uh, super good at it. <laughs> Yesterday we were serenaded by owls, probably some uh, bighorn owls, yeah. um, probably two or three of them that were uh, quite entertaining for us. Uh, Can't wait today. to get on the road and get out west. This is our little practice run right, and, right. and now we're ready to go. So February is going to go by real quick for us and then it's uh, uh, some prep with the RV, new tires, and a couple other little tweaks so we can pull the Honda Fit and uh, from there we'll uh, we'll head out west and kind of stake out our trip so we're Can't wait. we're super happy and excited good morning we're about to go for another ride it's uh, our second day at Hanna Park uh, camping in the uh, in the new to us uh, RV friend and I are gonna go for a little ride with uh, with pepper this morning who is super excited aren't you puppy yes he can't wait to go oh god that's a good boy yep Right here. That's it. Good boy. Over here. Over here. That's it. Good boy. Good boy, go. Glad he didn't stop on the bridge. Good boy. Tell me more about the alligators. It's not a real big pond, but it can be challenging for some. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I saw it. it. So, oh, I didn't know you were uh, filming. Otherwise, uh, I would have pushed harder. On a future uh, YouTube, you ah. will see yourself failing on this climb. Oh. oh, oh. I'm Alex. Carl. No, it's okay. Josh. Josh. Carl. Josh. Good to meet Omar. you. Josh. Josh, good to meet you, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, 
Alright, take care. Uh -huh. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> guys we're here on our porch and we thought you might want to know a few things about Hannah Park so uh, we're just going to give you a few little tidbits that we learned um, Hannah Park's in Northeast Florida located uh, on the Atlantic Ocean and there are tent sites and RV sites the tent sites uh, cost $20 a night and the RV sites cost $34 a night. Right, and if you would rather you can stay in one of their little cabins right. for 34 bucks a night, it's the same price. Right, and the RV sites do include electric, sewer, and water, so that's good. Which is really nice because a lot of campgrounds we go to, you have to go to a dump station on the way out, which is right. not a big deal. It's not but, a big deal, but, but it's nice to it's have nice. it. To have it right in your sight. Now, one of the things that you know could be a, a negative for you is that the uh, campsites are all dirt; they're not paved, which isn't a big problem for us. But you, know, you might have to do a little leveling. The good the good news is that looks like a lot of the sites are pull through sites for right. RVs, so you don't have to back in. If you have a big rig, you know it's it's pretty nice to have the pull through sites. There are 300 uh, campsites at Hannah Park. <coughs> Um, so you've got a lot to choose from, but they're under uh, a lot of big oak trees, shaded yeah. sites. Okay. Well, and we'll, it's we'll really close to the beach. So yeah. if you like going to the beach and you want to take a walk down to the beach, it's, it's super close to the campground. I know some places you feel like you have to walk a couple of miles. No, this is really close to the beach. What would you say, about a quarter of a mile to, from the campsite to the beach? If yeah, that it's, much. It's a, it's really it's a short walk. Um, it also has quite a few uh, bike trails and hiking trails. Mm -hmm. There's uh, 20 miles or so of uh, trail for hiking and biking, 14 miles of that for, um, for biking. The trails are directional, which um, I think is a good thing because it gives you actually more miles of trail and uh, prevents, uh, should prevent collisions, head-on collisions. Uh, so they alternate every other day, which that's a good thing for uh, uh, traffic control. Uh, so you know what's really exciting, Brenda? What? Well, there's a 60-acre freshwater lake at Hannah Park mm -hmm. that you can canoe and kayak and fish, fish, and probably not swim in. It doesn't really look no, like it's good No, you cannot for swim. swim. Definitely not swimming. There's no swimming in this lake, just so that you know. <laughs> but there is a, 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 a nice playground for the kids. Yes. Um, and with a splash park. And even a little zip line. A little zip line for the kids. Although so, I've seen some adults on it. Yes, I, <laughs> I have been known to partake. On have the, you now? Yes, on the zip oh, line. Okay. Uh, but I think I meet the weight requirements. Yes. I, some I weigh, of the people I've seen have not, and they should not be on the zip line. Yeah, I weigh about the same as a large child. You are a large child. Yeah, that, that is true. The campsites are nice. As we were saying before, they're nicely shaded. They also have a camp store. They also have laundry if you do need to do your laundry there. There is a little laundry area. Yes, they have laundry there. <laughs> so the things we like about uh, Hannah Park, um, the camping is, is definitely very nice, very uh, comfortable there. It's quiet at night, and we like the mountain bike trails. They're more cross-country uh, oriented. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty nice, easy trail system, most of them. The only one that's a little bit more technical, and it's only because it's tight, is the Z Trail. Yep, Z Trail is a but little bit more. But it's something that anybody can do. Um, it, for beginners, it's a great place for uh, new mountain bikers. And to, children. And children mm -hmm. to learn to mountain bike. Um, beginners will, may end up off their bikes at a couple of points just on some of the climbs. Believe it or not, there's a couple of small climbs. But you see them, you see them coming, so it's not, no big surprises. Yeah, one of the things that, uh, that I don't like about Hannah Park or wish that we could change there is that um, there's not a lot of technical features um, on the trails. It would be nice to have some optional uh, technical features, although we were very happy to see that Sorba Jacks um, recently installed uh, a skinny on uh, one of the trails. That's pretty challenging. I haven't been able to, to do it yet. I only tried it once and I failed miserably. 
There are some more challenging trails about an hour and a half away if you, if you find that you do want to do something more challenging. Hannah Park is mainly good for some nice easy mountain biking and it's very close to the beach and you can surf when the tides and everything is in your favor. You know what else is really exciting Brenda? What Carl? Well you're actually pretty close to some decent restaurants yes. in Atlantic Beach and in Neptune Beach. You're gonna need a uh, if you're driving an RV you're gonna need a tow vehicle to get to those sites. Yes. Um, until we see you next time happy trails. Oh.